Am I looking... You can just it, talk to me. Are you? Okay. Yep. I know it might be difficult, but can you just walk us through that day? Yeah. Um, yeah. It, look, it started like any other day, right? These things always do. I was putting together an assembly edit. I'd done about four hours on it. So I come back from my break. I got my cup of coffee. <laughs> Every editor's best friend. And um, you sit at your desk. You open up the editor. And the thing is, you hear about this happening to other people, right? You see it on the forums, in the community, but you just... God, it's so easily done. It's so easily done. And so you sit down, you sit at the editor, and... Uh, I don't think I can ever forget those two words. Media offline. You know, a whole, a whole morning's work, gone. And I just kept thinking to myself, you know what, if someone had just made a, a two minute or less video tutorial about how I could resolve this issue, then, then everything would be okay. And so that's why I've decided to make this episode of Shortcuts. Hi everyone, my name is David Winter, I'm a video editor here at Lightworks, and today I'm going to show you how you can resolve the dreaded media offline issue. Now, we've made a video that's touched on this before, but that was specifically about reclaiming subclips if the parent clip or sequence had gone offline. This is different. The other cause of this issue can be you've removed an external hard drive, you've accidentally put your footage into a different folder on your computer. There's a number of reasons, but luckily the fix is really simple. So we're gonna get our two minute timer up on the screen now and dive right in. Okay, so here we are in my project, and as you can see, I've got some nice footage imported and laid out here on my timeline. Now what I'm going to do on my other monitor that you can't see in this video is move my footage from the location it's currently stored to a new one. As you can see, that's had a pretty dramatic effect. It's knocked all of my footage offline. And that's because Lightworks doesn't necessarily know that your footage is moved, so it's still trying to link that footage that it's imported to the original location. So really easy fix for this, just right click on the piece of footage you want to restore, go to media, click relink missing, and then just navigate to wherever you've moved the footage to on your computer. Select the clip you want to restore and then click OK. There we go, as you can see that's restored that specific clip. If we want to restore all of them then just select all of them or whichever ones you do want to restore. Right click again, head back to media. This time it will say repair. I'm not entirely sure why it's a different word this time, but it will do exactly the same thing, so don't worry. Click on that. If you're not already there, navigate your way to the folder where your footage is now stored. And there we go, our footage is back. There's plenty of different ways your footage can get knocked offline, but generally it boils down to it having moved from the original location. So nine times out of 10, you'll be able to follow these steps and get the problem resolved. There we go, I hope that's helped relieve some stress for you. It's always a nightmare when that message pops up, but luckily, as you can see now, it's a nice and quick fix. So give that a go. If you have any other problems, do let me know in the comments down below. And in the meantime, don't forget to like, subscribe, all of that YouTube goodness, so you get notified every time there's a new episode of Shortcuts. Thanks for watching.